nutshell, and simply on behalf of the trustees and the employees. So as Mary said, it's called Exploring the Arc of Women's Suffrage and its relevance to current issues. So partly what we want to communicate is it's not, it's an ongoing issue. There's still uh, women's, uh, girls' issues that need to be dealt with. Uh, so that's going to be part of this, uh, the plan for uh, 2017. I think you know that it was in 1917 that New York granted women the right to vote. So next year will be the centennial. Uh, it's not till what year did the rest of the nation grant women the right to vote? 1920. Uh, so the 19th Amendment uh, was three years, so New York was one of the earlier states. In fact, Senator Gillibrand has already been to the History Center. She is trying to get some money to, to play to support celebrating the 19th Amendment. So it might be that some of the groups that we'll be working with over the next year will be able to apply for some funding to continue this work through, through 1920. Uh, we've already been meeting with a group of uh, folks who are going to do some programming uh, throughout, to, throughout next year. So we're playing both a coordination role uh, but then we're also going to do some initiatives in our own way, whether it's exhibits, programs, uh, school, school toolkits. Uh, some of the ideas that we're working with others are a play, Civic Ensemble, the Hangar Theater, and another group are hoping to do an original play to uh, gear to not just girls, but to teens in general about the importance of citizenship and taking advantage of the right to vote. It's appalling when we look at the figures on the percentage of folks who tend to vote at the public election. We're working very closely with the League of Women Voters. We already have a very strong collection of the League of Women Voters uh, material, but we're adding to it right now. So some programming we'll be doing will be in conjunction with the League of Women Voters. We're expecting to do some oral histories uh, of women who uh, want to talk about their experiences in voting uh, early on. I was sitting here thinking about my grandmothers, uh, who as young women would not have had the right to vote yet. Uh, they were both born in the 1890s, so even as young women, uh, they wouldn't have been able to vote. So I was trying to think, what would, what did this mean to them? And of course, I'm old enough that they're no, my grandmothers are no longer with us, so I can't ask them, but we want to be encouraging other people to be asking uh, and interviewing uh, their previous generations.